Hello, and welcome to our second video of Algebra 2, talking about another conic section today, uh, the hyperbola. First of all, I wanted to go ahead and apologize to you for the late uh, uploading of those videos for yesterday. I don't really know what was going on with my internet. It was going crazy. Uh, I don't know, maybe you got the coronavirus or something. But I wanted to go ahead and uh, get this one out here pretty quickly. I'm not going to tell you what time it is right now at my house. It's like 12 o'clock. Um, so I can get this uploaded and get this to you guys uh, in a time of fashion. Uh, so anyway, we're going to talk about a different shape today. Uh, we're going to talk about the hyperbola. And kind of like the ellipse yesterday, we want to mainly learn how to graph a hyperbola and talk about the different characteristics of a hyperbola. Um, you have not seen these shapes before, kind of like the ellipse. Uh, so most of this information that I'm going to relay to you is going to be brand new. Um, so let's get into it. We're going to start with our basic definition here, and then we'll start breaking down the different uh, vocabulary words associated with the hyperbola. So a hyperbola, and this is kind of long, is the set of all points P in a plane such that the absolute value of the differences, or the difference, I think I should say difference, uh, of the distances from point P to two fixed points, the foci, there's that word again, is constant. Alrighty, so if you look back at your notes from yesterday for the ellipse, this is going to have the same exact wording except for a few, like there's one uh, phrase in there that is different between the ellipse versus the hyperbola, and that would be this section right here. The absolute value of the difference is the only difference there. Okay, ha, funny. Okay, remember difference means subtraction. Um, so that's the only difference between these two shapes, but it makes a humongous difference in what the shape looks like and how the shape reacts whenever uh, you graph them here in just a few moments. So that's what we're gonna be discussing today and we'll get right into that. 